What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. And if you tuning in, make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned throughout the whole video. And same for you returning viewers. Stay tuned, uh, comment, uh, share, and like. As you can see, I am on my Porsche 944. Well, finna head to it right now. Uh, I just came from uh, North Charleston doing a job and then uh, another job uh, right down the road. Um, so my car is in South Carolina, so that's a good thing. So I bought a little goodies uh, for it. Uh, after conducting so much research, uh, after sharing it on a Facebook group, I was told just to check the grounds, make sure my battery cable good. And as I think about it, I might need to change my battery cable. Also cleaning the, the terminals on the battery uh, itself to make sure we have good connections all around. And I need to conduct some tests to make sure we have the proper voltage. Uh, I know I have 12.68 volts at the battery, but if I go from the positive uh, to like any other uh, part of the car with my negative lead and it dropped in, yeah, that tells me uh, something. And I know it's something simple. It's got to be something simple. Um, I, my car, it's just weird for the Porsche to actually do that, but I did have many uh instances where it didn't want to come on at one point in time probably five six times i know when i bought it from the previous owner the car just kept cutting off cutting off because it didn't had a good connection the battery uh terminals was all uh rusted out and the only uh terminal i changed was the positive i never did a negative one so i probably should have did that one during that time but that's on me. I ain't, I can't shortcut anything. Uh, I'm like, like I said, when I get the car at home, bro, I'm just overhauling, uh, making sure the wiring and all that straight. And that's just pretty much it. So I don't want to hold up. up. Now let's get in this video. So guys, I'm on a 944 and it will rain as soon as I get here, which is weird as hell. So guys, what did I get done or accomplished? So I changed the new battery wire. I mean, the battery terminal. Uh, wire right here cleaned up the ground real well uh cleaned off that terminal really good um as y'all can see we got a loose ground right here as y'all can see it's pretty loose hard huh i'm gonna clean this area up tighten that up um i forgot where other ground where the other ground was at i gotta look at the, all the other ground Got a ground strap right there, but I don't think they even put it on. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna tighten this ground up. I think that's pretty much it. And uh, I need to check the other locations. So guys, checking this ground wire right here. I'm taking this boat out. I'm gonna clean it up really well. I'm gonna try to look for more, but I know I had here uh, back of the motor, back side over that way, and then um, back of the trunk or whatever. So I'm gonna see what's what. So guys, when I pulled these wires apart, I did have some like some white oxidation. I know that's normally not good. So we're gonna clean up this area really well. All right guys, so I'm checking the ground right there with that loose wire, and then I think it's another one in this area. I probably can't see it. But it's, so, it's in this area. It's a really tight space back here. All right, so I've got the other ground right there, but we got this other one that hooks up right here on this uh, plate right here. And I do see some white oxidation uh, on there. So I'm gonna end up cleaning that up and uh, seeing where, where would I go from, you know? So guys, this is gonna be the last ground I do, which is right here. I already cleaned the one on top of the motor. Uh, see how that go so guys it did crank over but i heard something loud i don't know what it was but i heard something loud all right guys now we just got one click uh earlier we had a chatter but i'm telling you it sounded like the engine wanted to start over but it just didn't so after cleaning all the grounds around the car it did help a lot uh, we just have one click now and no chatter. As soon as I turn the engine over, it sounded like it was going to turn over, but it sounded like something like dropped or something. Also, I need to check my reference and speed sensor. Uh, that can also play in a role, but we will never know. Okay, so we're going to 
gonna go this way because there's a downhill over there. Not All right, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. So guys, we're gonna try to like push start. Well, try something. So guys, we try to push it and like put it in the gear for it to start, but it ain't doing nothing. Um, so hopefully, I can get it home this week um, and like break her down uh, to see. Um, it started pouring out rain. I was gonna see if the engine uh, were to turn over. I barely have 12.4 had dropped from 12 to 6, but um, it's, as soon as I cleaned the grounds, like it had, like it wanted to turn over, but it just uh, kept uh, dying out and stuff. So I'll hopefully figure it out uh, sometime uh, once I get it back home. So uh, fingers crossed. Um, I was going to force if we have to take it. So guys, as y'all recently seen, we tried to push the car. Uh, that's what they used to do back in Mexico with manual cars. So they all used to drive in manuals and all that. Uh, and it's, we just trying to, you know, try to roll it or try to put it in gear some type of way in order for it to st uh, start, but it just, it just wouldn't. So, you know, things happen. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm feeling actually pretty damn good, you know. Uh, I tried making uh, any steps necessary to get this car back going. Changed the uh, cable, cleaned out all my grounds, found that one loose uh, ground connection, and we the chatter stopped, right? So now that I'm turning the key over, I'm just getting one click, which is weird. Uh, my battery, battery kind of gave me suspect, but we can't just guess. Um, it, it tests fine. I took it to auto zone, it tests fine. It's weird because the other cylinder I had, I mean, the other starter I had tested bad, put a new one on. You thinking it's gonna fix the problem, but it didn't. So, it gotta be something crazy. But when I, as soon as I turned the key over, once I hooked everything up, it sounded like it wanted to go crank over, you know, sound like it wanted to crank over. And it sounded kind of bad too when it, you know, kind of started. So it's, I don't know if something catastrophic happened unless I take the motor apart and see. I mean, we might have to LS swap the car now, um, if anything, uh, to be honest. But I'm going to have to try to tow it this week. Uh, I can't use my Tahoe because I'm building on it right now. So if. If I did have my Tahoe, I would have been had my Porsche like at the house right now and they, the Porsche would have been uh, torn apart. Uh, or I could just rent a truck um, out. And I had a tow company uh, quoted me for $625. I'm not paying no $625. I, I might pay that somewhere else, but I'm not paying that for you to tow my car. Um, but I like I said, I know somebody who got a trailer so I could probably ask somebody I know probably a couple people who got trucks and uh, Get with them. Well, probably this way. I know they got trucks and all that pickup trucks So I'll probably just borrow one of their trucks if I wanted to and just get the trailer and you know haul and all that um, But I ain't trying to use other people's stuff. I'm trying to <clears throat> utilize what I can get and then like the trailer that towing trailer like i said the guy um the guy um who worked he like an older guy he said i can use it anytime and he trusts me with his trailer because if y'all haven't seen recently i had towed somebody else tahoe with my tahoe which i have a video i might have that link uh in the description but the tires kept blowing i told him that hey the tires blowing I'm about to replace it and all that i did my good deeds and all that i take care of people's stuff because if somebody want to borrow my stuff, you know, I will uh, want the same. But <clears throat> shout out to everybody uh, who tried helping me recently on tonight and like on Facebook and all that. I really appreciate y'all. Like it really mean a lot. And it's funny, they say my car is like the uh, f uh, off the Flintstone because I had the steering wheel off and all, but I th we thought I thought it was funny. They thought it was funny. I mean, you know, good good little laughs and all that. But shoot, I'm in traffic right now, trying to leave the state of South Carolina. 
it's this this section always be packed bro for no reason like if everybody just move you know traffic would go smooth but everybody keep driving all slow and stuff so it's whatever i feel good though i feel good i'm feeling good feeling real good man the only thing, only thing that is back in my mind now is like, damn, I didn't turn the engine over. The reason why I didn't turn it over because the rain, it started raining. It's like raining right now. So, and my girl and, you know, her aunt and them trying to tell me, you know, get out the rain, which I mean, I was going to leave out the rain anyway. I was already soaking wet, but you know, when people care for you so much, they don't want you getting all hurt and all that. So, I mean, I was fine and stuff, but. I would've still been outside though, honestly, I don't give care, it's rain, but you know, I'm far away from home, so I need to get home, you know, uh, so I feel pretty good. So, hey, if y'all new, subscribe, if y'all returning, um, like, share, uh, let me know, y'all gonna get this video probably in the morning, afternoon, I don't know, probably in the morning, more likely. It's like 12, um, finna be, well, it's finna be 12, um, so I'll probably get home about like one something, maybe 12, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of stuff I got to get done. So, um, let's go. Let's get to it. Keep positive mind too. Get through anything.